A new season and a new era in Miami. Last year doesn't matter to me no more. I'm, I'm focusing on this year. The Heat over LeBron. That team and that chapter, it's closed. And fired up. Coach Spo went public, not dodging the obvious theme of the day. Any team is going to have to adjust uh, when you lose a player uh, of LeBron's uh, magnitude. Uh, but that team and that chapter, that's closed. The big two-thirds get their team to themselves. We have to lead this team different. And for us, it's like it's just a renewed energy. You know, it's like, you know, we're excited about this opportunity. We have guys that have a chip on their shoulder, and that's what you need. You know, you need fire. You need that chip on your shoulder. You need guys that want to prove something. And we have all that. Just so happens LeBron and the Cavaliers held their media day today, too. Last night on CNN, Bron revealed he was three wins away from staying. Uh, I mean, it's a greater chance for sure. I mean, it's, it would be hard to, <laughs> to leave a uh, back-to-back-to-back. <laughs> championships, you know, and try to go for four. He won 54 last year with LeBron James. Udonis Haslam, going into his 12th season here, thinks they can be just as good this year. We can still win 54 games. That team last year could have won more games. It didn't. But this team can win 54 games. Um, but we're going to have to compete. We're going to have to work. Nobody's going to give it to us. A lot of people are counting us out. But we can definitely do it. We have the talent, and I think we have the right mindset. Heat Nation, yeah, you can still expect uh, the Heat style of basketball. While things change in the NBA and things change in pro sports, you can count on the Miami Heat. We were here this morning, and there's still people here. We get about five minutes with each player, me and D-Wade. D-Wade actually asking me questions. Guys take a lot of pictures today, too. They get all that stuff out of the way today. Four straight years, you know, the Heat in the NBA Finals, but then they lost LeBron, so they still have Wade and Bosh. So how good can this team be now? Lead that all up for all the the, uh, the analysts and the uh, all the smart people behind the scenes. Leave that to everybody to come up with. Is it going to be 41? Is it going to be 47? We don't care. You know, we got to go out there every night and we got to put forward a championship effort. I think it's good for everybody and it'll be a great, great challenge for us. And, you know, I'm looking forward to it. I'm excited. Um, I hope Miami's excited to really see what we can do and uh, really pull the best out of these guys. It was media day. That means all the players, all the members of the media, TV, radio, newspapers, everybody, the Internet, we were here all day long. Last time we saw these guys, they were walking off the court in San Antonio, had just lost the NBA Finals. They've got a renewed spirit, though. The Heat liked their chances even without LeBron James. Everybody's hungry, man. Everybody hears what's going on on the outside. Everybody understands how people are looking at us. You know, for me, I've built my career on being an underdog and people saying I can't. So for me, I'm excited. And uh, I think my guys are looking at it the same way. We all have the expectation of competing for the highest prize. Not every organization is truly committed to that.